What's up everybody, you already know how it go. It is your boy Be back with another video and I am here to talk to you about these devices that you can find and make money with, okay? So there are devices that you can come across and make a good amount of money with and spend little to nothing, okay? Now, this happens a lot with cell phone stores, but I'm gonna tell you how you can have it happen to you. Um, I am currently pulling up the phone flipping buyer, buyer's price list. This price list was um, this price list was updated the Sunday. So it was updated two days ago. This price list is eighty dollars. This price list is something that's going to help you build your income. Uh, it gives you the market value of devices. But what we're talking about in this video is this price list actually being able to help you sell blacklisted devices. Now. When it comes to blacklisted devices, let's explain what blacklisted and the iCloud lock devices are. A blacklisted device is gonna be a device that cannot be used on said network. So if it is an AT&T or a T-Mobile device, that device is blacklisted, let's say, that means it can't be used on that network. That means it was reported lost or stolen, uh, which a lot of these phones we're gonna talk about um, are usually reported losses stolen, okay? So I have a bunch of these phones. So I have this phone, which I believe is an iPhone 14 plus. I have this, which I believe is an iPhone 11. And I have more, okay? I have an iPhone 8. And these are all phones that, believe it or not, I paid, I believe, $10 for all of these. And I'll be able to make a lot more money. Now, Speaking of paying $10, okay? Yes, you can get these devices for that cheap, okay? And I believe I got another one too. Yep, this one too, okay? You can get these devices for dumb cheap. And if you're somebody that's just trying to start flipping, these are probably the devices that you want to start to entertain and try to get um, because you can make some money off of them by using the price list and selling them blacklisted, okay? So prime example, with the price list, Okay, if we go to blacklisted devices, iCloud lock devices, um, I see prime example for this iPhone 14 uh, plus I can get $250. So like me spending about $5 on this, I'm able to make around $245, okay? And that is actually from a recent offer, which again, I'll show you guys in another video how the price list is actually used. I've made plenty of priceless videos. You can go ahead and look it up. Um, and I'm sure you'll find out exactly what I mean. But these phones with our price list are valuable. These phones blacklisted, you can still sell to sellers. You can still sell to wholesale buyers. You can still sell to people but you have to be cautious about a few things, okay? When it comes to phones like this that are blacklisted, a blacklisted phone and an iCloud lock phone are two different things. The iCloud lock phone is gonna be a device that has an iCloud lock on it, okay? Now, blacklisted phone could be reported lost or stolen, or it could be the fact that the financial obligations weren't paid for it. So a blacklisted phone is way more um, convenient to buy, okay? And what I mean by it's way more convenient is if you buy that phone, you're more likely to be able to sell it and not have any issues. If you buy an iCloud lock phone, right? Here's where I tell people, um, I personally um, feel about it and refrain from having them in my possession for a long time. Because I have a lot of people that find devices on buses or on, some, on a bus or a subway or even in the street. And they come in and they say, hey, uh, I got this phone. I found it, bro. It's drawing iCloud lock, passcode lock, can't get in. Um, and I buy it, but what I do is I'll sell that thing within 24 hours because, again, you don't want anything coming back to you or somebody thinking that you stole a phone. Now, to all of the people that comment and say, oh, well, this is illegal, um, you're buying stolen phones, that's not necessarily true. You got people that put iClouds on their phones and forget the iCloud password. People that have older devices that they don't use anymore that still got an iCloud. And lastly, okay, that's none of my business. As a business owner, pawn shop, I am, and I'm not, not a pawn shop, but I'm saying as a pawn shop prime example, is I'm interested in flipping and making cash, right? 
but I'm not really um, interested on how you got it necessarily. And if I was, then I wouldn't even be flipping phones in the first place because nine times out of 10, we don't know where any of these people are getting the things that they're getting to sell to us. Now, I will say you can get yourself in trouble if you're sitting on an iCloud lock phone, you got it turned on, um, and you sitting here trying to put the passcode in, trying to get it unlocked. You can catch yourself in some trouble because somebody can probably track that phone if you're not careful. That's why it's important that you sell these devices. Once you get them, send them to the buyers, send them to the priceless email so a buyer can give you an offer and go about your way. Um, it's very important that you're not sitting on iCloud lock phones. Now, when it comes to an iCloud lock phone, another thing that I like to do in my store is if somebody buy, if somebody brings me an iCloud lock passcode lock phone, what I will do is if that phone has a message on it that says like, hey, return this to Zoe and my number is da da da, I'll call them and I'll say, hey, listen, I got this phone for X amount. I'll give you this phone back for X amount. And that's it. That's it. So in essence, I'm helping people, but I'm also being able to make some money. OK, and that's how business is. If you, if you are somebody that takes business personal and you feel as though all good needs to be done, then to be honest with you, uh, Walmart, Target, Sam's Club, uh, Publix, wherever you your nearest grocery store is, you should be asking them, hey, why are you overcharging me for my milk? Or why you are? Why were you overcharging me for eggs during the pandemic? Like you need to ask them why they wasn't just giving it to you for what they got, what they got it for. Okay, it's always a a, a profit needed to be found out or needed to be made. That's just how business works, right? But when I talk about these phones, it's very important you understand that it is lucrative to be able to get these devices and also be able to sell these. So I wouldn't, I would, I would gear towards getting blacklisted phones more than iCloud lock phones. But if you get an iCloud lock phone, you can get, you can sell it. You can definitely get it sold. You can definitely make a profit. Usually, you are making like a forty dollar profit. If it's an old phone like an iPhone eleven, of course, let's be real, you are making like a fifteen dollar profit. Um, but like for an iPhone eleven lock, I'm not about to sit there and even pay. Uh, too much money. Like, I, it's just not happening. I'm not going to pay an uh, extremely absurd amount of money. It's not happening. But nevertheless, y'all, I also give you tips and tricks on how to get this done by you joining our weekly class next Monday. Literally, when you're watching this video next Monday, okay, I have a $5 phone flipping class that you can register for all it is is five dollars it's at 9 p.m eastern time you can ask me any questions i'm always teaching something new and i'm going over what i taught the previous week so if you're a new phone flipper this is a great class to be a part of because you're going to learn all the essentials of flipping phones but also get the advantage of being able to be kept up to date i recently brought um a bunch of uh fake iphone 15 pro maxes and i'll be going over that um in the next class and i took that loss but that is why we have these classes so that you can learn the do's and the don'ts so you can continue to grow and and make yourself better uh that is that that's really the, the point and that's really the goal and guys i love doing this i hope you guys are continuing to make money and i hope you guys stay safe and keep making money work for you all right guys i can't wait to see you at the top because it's too crowded at the bottom peace